In this video, I'll be discussing the Ethereum Metropolis hard fork. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So recently, uh, my videos have been scattered a little bit across different topics. Um, I've been covering some coins and different things like that. Um, I wanted to get back to a bit of news um, because there is something of concern coming this month which I wanted to cover for you guys. Um, yeah, just to give you an idea. In case you are an Ethereum holder, this is very important to you. Um, if you're not, it's still important. So, um, yeah. So, essentially, Ethereum is having a hard fork this month, guys. Um, now, they're calling it the Metropolis hard fork. The reason for that is the coin or the platform that's going to be created out of the hard fork is going to be called Metropolis. Um, there's going to be two stages to this hard fork, though. I'm not quite sure on a certain date for the second stage, but um, yeah, the first stage will be coming this month, late in September, and it will be called Metropolis. Um, so, yeah, essentially three to six months, the new version of Ethereum called Metropolis will be released. Um, it's basically just a big upgrade. It's following the visions of Ethereum's founder Vitalik, and its idea is to move from a proof-of-work system to a proof-of-stake protocol, which I'll discuss shortly, but essentially it's just addressing the scalability, safety, and privacy issues, and um, establishing a way to you know, produce upgrades to the system that will improve these things. So uh, there's a few dot points here um, which we'll talk about um, the anonymous transactions that are going to be able to happen. Um, smart contracts are going to be made easier with the new upgrade. You know, you'll be able to program your own contracts much easier. Um, you'll actually be able to determine the address of your private key um, like as a user so you can determine that it's not a set out address um, which means the security will be increased and it will also protect against quantum computing guys which is um, a big thing with cryptocurrency a lot of people think it's unsafe because of quantum computing now, I'm not going to go into detail on quantum computing because it is a quite a in-depth subject um, but it essentially allows systems such like the way cryptocurrency works and blockchain technology to be hacked but um, you know, these cryptos like Ethereum are pretty well set up against these sort of attacks so there's nothing to worry about really. Um, one of the downsides to this upgrade guys is the mining difficulty will be um, increasing exponentially and it's already increased quite a lot now. Uh, if you follow any minor YouTubers um, I know I haven't covered a lot of mining yet, which I will try to get to in later videos, but yeah, the difficulty's gone up significantly, and if you are into cloud mining or anything like that, it's pretty much not very profitable at the moment, so a lot of people are just sticking to Bitcoin mining. Um, basically, yeah, just the developments of Ethereum are going to be increasing. Uh, it still remains in a cloud whether the price is going to increase or decrease. The reason being is generally as the mining slows down due to difficulty, prices fall in a coin um, because there's less blocks being mined, less blocks being created and less blocks being bought essentially. Um, however, these upgrades should increase the price so you never know, we might just see a bit of stabilization, a bit of consolidation there and um, but hopefully these upgrades do increase the price, you know. Um, Without the mining side of things, Ethereum is still a very successful project and they have good ambitions, so keen to see what happens there. But yeah, like I said guys, this is only the penultimate stop. Um, Serenity is going to be the next upgrade. It's unknown what the time schedule is for that at the moment. Um, but yeah, there's going to be some more increases in stability there and price supports and things like that. And the mining and efficiency of the whole network is going to be improved by that upgrade. So that's going to be a good one to see. Um, but yeah, if you are a holder, guys, watch out for this Metropolis. It's going to be forking um, later in this month. You know, hopefully we don't see any big price movement up to the downside. So uh, just this quick article, which you can check out, guys, um, just basically covers 
proof of work versus proof of stake. Um, talks about a little bit of the differences of the two. Proof of work essentially just has a main goal of deterring cyber attacks. That's all it was really designed for. Um, this concept existed quite a while before you know any cryptocurrency was out here, but Satoshi Nakamoto applied this to Bitcoin, and that's why it's such a successful system. A uh, little bit of stuff here about centralized, decentralized, and distributed ledgers. Proof of stake, which is what Ethereum is essentially moving to, is just a different way to validate transactions, and it's based on a distributed consensus algorithm. Um, so it's it's quite a bit of a complex subject, but um, essentially it increases efficiency, uh, which I'll show you quite shortly. Uh, the downside to proof of work, guys, is the miners need a lot of energy. You know they're using quite a lot of power to um, generate these blocks. So by moving to proof of stake, the mining efficiency will definitely be increased. Um, as you can see on this article, we got a few words from Vitalik here. And in conclusion, guys. Yeah, like I said, energy savings for sure, and it's actually going to be an even more safer network with this uh, Casper security deposit protocol um, that's going to be being used. So, yeah, proof of stake is definitely the better system, guys. Um, as you can see here, a few little things. Uh, but, yeah, no, that's going to be awesome with the Metropolis hard fork coming in. Proof of stake will be adopted. Um, there's a lot of other coins out there using it at the moment. So I think that's why Ethereum wants to get updated and, you know, get with the time. So we'll just have a quick look at the charts, guys, to finish off the video. Um, Ethereum BTC. Now, we haven't seen really much good movement in the last couple of months here. We've just been consolidating, which is all right. As long as we stay above this 7 million sat level, I think we're going to be okay there. Um, the USD value is doing quite well, though. We have had this good climb over the last couple of months, except we are seeing quite a big fall here, um, which was predicted when we hit near this 400 level. You know, it's no surprise. Uh, I didn't get to take any profits there, but as long as this uptrend continues, I'm not too phased just yet. Uh, if we do break this, I may take some profits off the table. Uh, we could see some drops, hopefully not you know, to these sort of levels, but yeah, we definitely could see some drops with this uh, hard fork coming in. Hopefully not, but I'll see if I can just whip up a quick fib retracement for you guys. Yeah, so as you can see there, we could expect a 240-245 level uh, if we do see a significant pullback there. Otherwise, guys, hopefully no lower than this 280 level, really. I think that'll be a solid support there. Um, but, you know, after this fork happens, guys, you know, you know what Bitcoin did, uh, it just took off, so nothing really to worry about, but just keep your eyes peeled. Um, you know, we could have some movement with this hard fork coming in, so it's just something to keep an eye on. Uh, but if you do want to go check out some more details on this, guys, head over to the article on itsblockchain.com. Uh, where they talk about the Metropolis hard fork and the introduction to proof of concept, or also known as proof of stake. Uh, this good article by Block Geeks um, just goes into a bit more depth on the comparison of proof of work versus proof of stake. And as always, keep an eye on the charts, guys. So, hope you've enjoyed this video. I know I didn't go into a heap of detail, but I just want you guys to be aware of it um, and what's happening. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Cheers, guys. I'll see you in the next one. I'm in love with the car.